Hi everyone, welcome to Asanem. This is the last video of rational numbers. If you haven't watched the previous ones, I recommend you to watch them before. So in this video, we are gonna focus on converting repeating decimal numbers into fractions. And then we are gonna solve some exam questions that are left. Let's begin then. Let's say we have point two repeating. Two, 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 and so on. This is, as you all know, point two repeating, and this is two over nine, and that's it. Or let's say point four, 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 and so on. This is point four repeating, and this one is four over nine. Now, instead of having one digit repeating, what if we have two digits that repeat? For example, point one nine, one nine, one nine, and so on. This is equal to point nineteen repeating, and this is simply nineteen over ninety nine. So if all the numbers repeat after the point, you simply write nines as number that repeat in the denominator. For example, here one number is repeating and there is one nine in the denominator. Here is also the same and two digits are repeating. So that's why I need two nines in the denominator. Okay. What if you have a complex recurring decimal number? How do you convert it? This rule is helps us to convert it easily. Okay, I'm gonna explain the rule. So write the whole number, whole number without the point, okay? And then subtract the numbers that are not repeating. So here it's A, B, C, D. And in the denominator, after the point, how many digits are repeating? EFG. So this is three digits, right? So you can add three nines in the denominator. Okay. And after the point, how many digits are not repeating? CD. So two. Two zeros. I need to add the next to nine. Okay. So let's give some examples to clarify the rule. Okay. Let's say we have 5.18 and 8 is repeating. So this is simply 5.1888 and so on. So write the whole number. So it's 518 and subtract the numbers that are not repeating. This is 51 over after the point, how many digits are repeating? Only one. So I need to write only a nine in the denominator. And after the point, how many digits are not repeating? Here it's one and only one. So in the denominator, I wrote 90. Four, six, seven, over 90. Okay, this is the answer. Let's give another example. So let's say point two, four, three. And 43 is repeating. So write the whole number. It's 243, right? And then subtract the numbers that are not repeating. So here it's 2 divided by how many numbers that are repeating? 2. Because it's 4 and 3. 2 nines. And 2 is not repeating. So only one zero I'm going to add here. This is two four one over nine nine zero okay by the way don't worry you probably won't see this kind of recurring decimal questions in exams but it is good to know this rule though this is the only exam question about recurring decimal numbers and it's so easy so i am going to start exam questions by solving this one and it's from 2014 and it says 0.3 repeating plus 0.3 divided by 0.3 repeating minus 0.3. So as you know, 0.3 repeating is 3 over 9 plus 0.3 is 3 
over 10 divided by 3 over 9 minus 3 over 10. So I need to get common denominators. That's why I am going to multiply 9 by 10 and 10 by 9. Okay, same in the bottom. So 3 times 10 is 30 plus 3 times 9 is 27. 9 times 10 is 90. Divided by 30 minus 27 over 90, right? And this is 57 over 90 divided by 3 over 90. So there is a division here. That's why I am going to write like multiplication, okay? 90 over 3. We can cancel 90s. And it's 57 over 3. And this is 19. So this is the answer A. This is from 2015 and it's about decimal numbers. If you watched my previous video, you know how to convert it as easier form. So it's 99 over 9 divided by 9 over 1000 divided by, look at here. So there is a negative 1 here. That means just flip the fraction. So it's 9 over 1000 means 1000 over 9. Okay, I'm going to write it here. 1000 over 9. Here, I can cancel the writing by 9. So I'll have 11 over 9 over 1000 dividing by so I can change it into multiplication 9 over 1000 okay so there is also division here that's why I can write it as 11 times 1000 over 9 and this one 9 over 1000 so let's cancel 1000s and 9s I'll have 11 times 1 times 1, and that means 11, and this is my answer, D. This is from 2017, and if you watch the My Decimal Numbers video, you can, you know, easily remember how to solve these kind of questions. So I need some zeros to add, right, like that. So my question becomes 30 over 2 plus 10 over 2 plus 30 over 5, right? So this is 15 and this is 5 and this one is 6. So my answer is 26. Now I need to convert it as a b4, okay? So 26, it could be like... 25 plus 1 or 20 plus 6 right for example I cannot write 25 plus 1 because I cannot change it into B form because B is 2 that's why I'm gonna try this one okay so 20 is 4 times 5 right and 6 is 3 times 2 so 5 is a so 4 a plus 2 is b 3 b that's why 4 a plus 3 b is my answer this is from 2018 and it asks us b look at a and b so B looks bigger, right? That's why I can subtract A from B. Let's try this. B minus A. So 61 over 29 plus 101 over 32 plus 202 over 39 minus 
23 over 29 plus 5 over 32 plus 7 over 39 so it's easy to subtract if they have the common denominators so 61 over 29 minus 3 over 29 plus 101 over 32 minus 5 over 32 plus 202 over 39 minus 7 over 39 okay so this is 58 over 29 plus this one is 96 over 32 plus this is 195 over 39 so let's divide them it's gonna be 2 if we divide it by 29 if we divide 96 by 32 I'll have 3 and here I'll have 5 okay so uh, my answer is 10 so B minus A is 10 and it asks us B in order to get B I need to do this 10 plus A and this is my answer B so today we have finished rational numbers if you have any questions please feel free to ask us and by the way, don't forget to follow your Sanam channel. Thank you for watching. See you at next videos.